What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another figure review. And I thought today we would talk about Grand Admiral Th Thrawn. Uh, he is one of the coolest characters from the Star Wars Expanded Universe and the novels. And if you watch my unboxing video uh, from yesterday, from when the uh, return shipment from AFA, uh, you'll note that the one on the right was in that was in that box. <clears throat> and uh, I thought we'd take this opportunity to show you guys one of the granddaddies in my collection. This is an awesome piece. Uh, the center one, obviously, is the one I'm talking about. This is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, Admiral Thrawn box set. And then I also have the Black Series uh, 2017 uh, release of Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I'll show you the differences. There are some subtle differences between the uh, retail version versus the San Diego Comic-Con uh, version. But... Um, I, you know, like I said, I, I did get this Star Wars Expanded Universe uh, Thrawn back, and <clears throat> I thought we'd just talk about all three of them since, uh, you know, they're, they're all really cool pieces in their own different way. So let's take a look first at the one I got back from AFA. Uh, so this is, you know, from the Expanded Universe, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, and you can see him there, uh, you know, more of a cartoon look to him. Uh, he's got that kind of Neanderthal brow going on. Ooga, ooga, ooga. And I don't know how... <laughs> forgive my mangled pronunciation, but around his neck is called a Ysalarmi. Yis uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but basically those are uh, a special kind of pet or wild animal that he found that creates a force bubble uh, that uh, protects people from any kind of Jedi and things like that by creating a shield around it where Jedi cannot penetrate it using force powers. So uh, that was a, a very uh, noted thing in the Expanded Universe novels, uh, the Heir to the Empire trilogy by Timothy Zahn. Uh, he he uh, used the Yilis army uh, to, to great effect uh, when talking about uh, some encounters with uh, a crazy Jedi. And it's a great trilogy for those of you who have not read it, but... Uh, his pistol is gigantic. I mean, look how big that thing is. And it's, it's kind of similar to the, uh, you know, all the other Power of the Force 2 figures. But, you know, this came out, I believe, in 1999. And, uh, you know, there was a series of different figures that were part of the Expanded Universe that have become popular. I mean, they're, they're not terribly expensive to get. I think I paid $20 for this figure. And, uh, but, you know, there's a number of really cool ones, which I'll show you on the back. The other cool thing about this is that this package... Uh, you could, perf you know, it had like perforated edges, which I'll show you on the back. That would become like a 3D playset. So that was kind of cool. And you can see the artwork there. Uh, let's take a quick look at the AFA grading again. Uh, 1998, excuse me, it was 1998. Kenner Star Wars Expanded Universe Grand Admiral Thrawn. And so I got this done with the um, modern scale grading. It came back at a 9.0, which I was very pleased about. I did not expect it to get that high. But, uh, you know, a really, really nice addition to my collection. And it's got the classic kind of um, Power of the Force 2 kind of figure, uh, uh, card art, excuse me. <clears throat> and here's the back. Um, so again, you know, this is uh, a kind of a wave or collection of uh, figures on the Power of the Force 2 cards. And it was Expanded Universe. And you can see here, this is what I was talking about, where this could, you could cut this open and uh, create kind of a 3D playset for Admiral Thrawn. So... Uh, five years after the Battle of Endor, the Rebel Alliance has driven the, e uh, the evil empire into a distant corner of the galaxy, but a new danger has arisen. The last of the Emperor's warlords has devised a battle plan that could destroy the Republic. A tactical and military genius, Grand Admiral Thrawn, rallied the remnants of the Imperial fleet and set in motion a plan to destroy the new Republic. Using force inhibiting Yassalamari, I can't pronounce it, he came... <laughs> Uh, vitally close to achieving his evil plans. So I don't want to spoil those uh, tie-in novels, but I highly recommend them. Here's some of the other uh, figures. Uh, we got kind of a Luke Skywalker in an alternate universe kind of evil Jedi. Uh, we got Kyle Katarn, uh, Princess Leia, Admiral Thrawn, Mara Jade, Clone Emperor. The Space Trooper is awfully cool. This And the Imperial Sentinel is very cool. I love that one. And then there's a couple of uh, uh, expanded universe uh, uh, vehicles. So... And it's got the Star Wars fan club on the back. Proof of purchase, 1998 Hasbro. So, a very cool figure. Um, you know, not, not particularly hard to find, but uh, 
I just decided that given my other Admiral Thrawns, that it would be a nice addition. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll kind of go with the retail packaged uh, six inch black series figure next. And my, my, just to warn you guys, my camera is gonna be jumping all over the place because uh, just because of the size of this uh, San Diego Comic-Con set, so I apologize. It's going to be even more shaky than usual. Uh, but anyway, here's the, here's the, uh, the grading for this one. 2017 Hasbro Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Grand Admiral Thrawn, uncirculated 9.0. And here he is. Very, very cool. It's more of a realistic look to him. He's got his pistol out of the holster. And you'll see why I'm pointing that out in a second. But uh, just a very nice figure. And this was a very high demand figure when this first came out, and he is awfully cool looking. Love this figure. Uh, the new there there is a new uh, two new books by uh, Timothy Zahn, a longtime Star Wars universe writer. He wrote uh, the origin backstory for Thrawn uh, that was also titled Thrawn, and then he just came out last month or so with another one called Thrawn: Dark Alliances. Uh, about his time teaming up with Anakin Skywalker and then later with Darth Vader. And both are highly recommended reads. The first one is the better of the two, but they're both very good. Uh, you can see the pistol detail there. Uh, and let's take a look at the back. This is number 47 in the line, Grand Admiral Thrawn. When Governor Price of Lothal wanted a stronger commander to dismantle uh, the rebellion, the Empire answered with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn was a male chiss with striking blue skin, red eyes, and an angular face known for his brilliant strategic mind and ruthlessness. And that was all tied to the, uh, the Thrawn backstory uh, novel, which is just an awesome book, uh, if you have not read it. So, um, so that's, that's that. Uh, great figure. Um, I'm going to have to move my camera to zoom in for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So let, let, me, let me zoom it in a little bit. I apologize that uh, it is still in the poly bag back from AFA. Um, it's just such a big piece and such a big kind of cornerstone on one of my shelves that I'm afraid to take it out, to be honest with you. I know that's really nerdy, uh, but I just don't want to, I don't want to get the, the case all scratched up. I got a really good backstory on this one. So this, you know, again, was available at a San Diego Comic-Con. I believe it was in 2017. It might have been 2016. We'll look at the label. But... Uh, I, you know, I, obviously, I, I live on the other side of the U.S., so I could not attend. But I, I really wanted this as a graded piece. And it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking to buy something like this. This whole thing uh, collapses in the, the two sides here with the statues and kind of mementos of his past kills. Uh, that folds in to create like a, a large box uh, that protects the figure. But the issue is there's so many folds and corners and, uh, you know, everything gets dinged up so easily that it is really difficult to find one in a high grade. And I looked for months. I mean, I, I must have been a 2016 exclusive because I, I, look, I remember looking for several months, uh, maybe even as high as six months, to find something in a good grade. And <clears throat> there was one that had sold. It was AFA graded 9.0 that sold for $1,000. And I was like, I'm not paying $1,000 for a, you know, $75 or $100 figure. At best, I, th I think at the convention they were going for seventy dollars, so uh, it just seemed ridiculous to pay that kind of that kind of premium for a uh, a high grade item. So I said, "Well, if we're going to do it, let's do it, and let, let's really uh, focus in. Let's find a seller who's going to be really cool and really you know give me a lot of details about what they have and and see what we can do." So it, you know, for those of you looking to do something like this, is it is nerve wracking to try and you know save your uh, to save your money and to do the investigations, and it took a long time and a lot of effort. I mean, I probably put at least thirty to forty hours into this project trying to find a grade worthy uh, Admiral Thrawn, and even then, you don't know what the grade's going to be when you get back from AFA. So it was very nerve wracking, and, and it, I did spend a lot of time on this. I did finally find a seller that had one and it looked impeccable from the photos but you know photos can be deceiving so i i really hammered him with questions i said can you take this angle this angle can you send me some more photos of the corners and blah 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 and i said how you know can you pack it really carefully blah 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 and he wanted only about 90 i think i, I, pay, I think i paid 94 dollars 94 and 50 or something like that so i paid about 20 to 25 dollars more than than what they were selling for at the San Diego Comic-Con. So I did pay quite a premium. Let's call it a 30% premium. But 
the alternative is spending a thousand dollars to get one that's already rated and and which is ridiculous so uh uh I, I did finally pull the trigger on this one and he sent it to me and it was very very well protected um and he was a great seller i, I, I wish i could remember his name but uh you know i would i would highly recommend him as a seller he, he does a lot of star wars kind of convention stuff i think because he has a booth at san diego comic-con he had some leftovers or something i, I don't know the whole story but he had three or four and he gave me the best one but anyway, uh, let me show you really quickly what I think about it. it the, so it folded up into a box set like that. And here was the thing that went around it. Uh, on, this is the back of it, and it's got some descriptions of Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's basically like a folder flyer piece. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of the, the Black Series kind of piece that wrapped it around, that wrapped around it. And actually, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, this is the, this might, yeah, this is the back. I'm sorry, this is the back. And it's got some information there, and then it's got kind of a cool design here with, I guess, the Yassalari. Uh, I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to call it the Yassalari. Uh, but that's, I think that's what that is, uh, that little dragon-looking thing there. Uh, but this is the piece that kind of wrapped the whole thing together. And so when I got it, I didn't want to get it graded closed because it's just such a beautiful a beautiful item. So when I submitted it to AFA, I said, I'd, li I'd, like, to you, I'd like you to open it and, and grade it. Uh, opened and uh, and so they returned that that uh, little plastic piece that I just showed you they returned that along with the Grand Admiral Thrawn it was not very expensive to get it graded you would think that something this big would, would be super expensive but it really wasn't it was only I think it was $65 in grading cost uh, to get this thing done so you know all in together I, I had maybe oh uh, I'd say I probably had about 150 bucks all in on maybe 160 bucks somewhere in there all in on getting this thing graded and I you know it was gone for three months as you know AFA takes forever it was gone for three months and I was a nervous wreck I mean not really because it's just a toy but I was nervous about the grade I didn't I didn't know what it would get I, I you know honestly I would I would have been happy with an eight and a half uh you know a near mint kind of eight and a half score and when it arrived, the box was gigantic, and uh, I was super nervous about opening it. So let, let me show you the grading on it, uh, <clears throat> if I can. Again, this thing's gigantic, so it's, it's going to be very difficult for me to show it. And I, I do use the classic style grading with something like this instead of the banner style grading, like you saw with the Black Series Retail Thrawn. So let's see if I can show you the grading on it. Ugh. All right. There it is. 20, oh, it was a 2017. Okay, 2017 Hasbro Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Grand Admiral Thrawn San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And it came back with a 9.25. So I was, needless to say, I was pretty ecstatic. Um, that, that, that's a pretty amazing score to get. And I did look up in the AFA population report. And as of right now, this is the highest graded version of this. There are, there are a few uncirculated 9.0s. Uh, but nothing is graded at 9.25 other than this one. So it's an awesome score. I was super excited about it and it, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I, I did feel really proud, uh, because I put so much effort into finding one that would be, uh, worthy of, of grading. And so here it is. I, I'm assuming that these are supposed to be the same force creatures, the Yellow Army. Uh, and you got some decorative kind of molding here that, that is kind of 3d. So those are actual, um, plastic, uh, figures that that's not just box box art. And then we got the grand Admiral Thrawn here along, you know, and, and in the books, it talks about how grand Admiral Thrawn likes to collect, uh, different pieces of the worlds he's conquered. And so we got a clone, uh, uh a clone helmet here. I, I assume we got some kind of goblet or chalice. Um, there's another kind of helmet here. I'm not really sure what, what that's supposed to be for. Uh, we got a couple of uh, alien artifacts here. Uh, he, you know, Grand Admiral Thrawn is known for studying before he engages in battle with an, with an enemy of an unknown origin or of a, a, you know, a foreign origin, I should say, or alien origin. He would study their artifacts and their art to find weaknesses uh, and to find tendencies in terms of how they would fight which I thought was kind of a cool thing that Timothy Zahn kind of added to the, the lore. And I believe this is a, a, a lightsaber uh, right here. It's hard to tell, but um, let me zoom in just real quick. Again, this is going to be kind of awkward because it's so big, but uh, I mean, you can see my hands next to this thing. It's gigantic. Uh, let's take a closer look at the, uh, at the piece. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not taking it out of the, out of the poly bag. I just don't want to risk getting this thing all scratched up on the front. It's just such a, um, 
a uh, a big piece that I just don't want to get it damaged, but you can kind of see some of the different artifacts in there. And he kind of sits back in there. Now his 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 pistol for the um, his pistol uh, in the San Diego Comic Con is comes holstered, so that's a little different. And uh, you know it's just a really really cool piece. I love it. It's just so over the top. And you know credit to Hasbro. I mean Hasbro screws up a lot of things, but credit to them for for making something so outlandish and cool. Uh, it's just really really. Uh, uh, one, a one-of-a-kind thing. And I've got a few other San Diego Comic-Con gigantic pieces that I'm, I'm sure I'll share with you. I've got the Kylo Ren box set that's really incredible that is graded as well as a uh, Luke in his uh, sp uh, uh, Tatooine speeder. Both are gigantic pieces as well and uh, they're kind of a pain to try and show off but uh, at some point I will. Um, let's take a quick look at the two different Thrawns, if, if we can. It's, it's not going to be easy, but let me see if I can get this thing to, to adjust here. Um, but there are some differences, very subtle differences between these two. And I'm going to try and, and get them as close as I can so you can take a look. But let's see if we can get the zoom as best we can. So as you can see, the, the main differences are with the shoulder pads. It's kind of hard to see there. But the shoulder pads are a little bit darker color. Uh, on the San Diego Comic-Con version versus the retail version. And you can also see the chest emblem is, is quite a bit different. Um, so that's another difference. Also, the, the, the collar piece is slightly different in size. Uh, the main difference being the, uh, uh, the holster piece has weathering and a lot more detail uh, versus this one that's just kind of a standard black, both pistol and the holster. So the, the San Diego Comic-Con version is a lot more detailed overall. But uh, but both are very similar. I, I've looked really closely at the face sculpts. I, I can't really notice any differences, to be honest with you. Uh, but the, the, those are the main differences that I've been uh, I've been able to kind of gather just looking at it. Basically, your holster uh, and pistol. Uh, the, you know, the, obviously the pistol comes holstered, but it's it's also much more weathered and detailed. Uh, the shoulder pieces are a little darker on the STCC version. The collar is a little bit darker, and then the chest emblem is quite a bit different. You can see the differences between these two chest pieces. But uh, anyway, uh, that, that, that's kind of the, the only differences that I've been able to find after, I mean, after I've looked at this thing up way more time than I should. And, and uh, th those are kind of the, the main differences that I've been able to find. So, uh, But anyway, that, sorry for the long video, but I thought you guys would love to see this and kind of get the backstory behind how I got this graded. Uh, I'm definitely, you know, it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It's, you know, again, I, I think all in, I've only spent about 150 bucks on it, which, you know, it's not a terrible amount of money, but just given it how big it is and, and, the, and the awesome grade I got back, it's, you know, at least when I checked it last, this is the highest graded STCC uh, Admir Grand Admiral Thrawn that there is. And, uh, you know, to have it displayed like this on my shelf is really, really cool. So that's why you see it so much in the background of the videos. Is it, it, this, this shelf has the least amount of glare. I say that as there's glare pouring down all over this thing. But, uh, but anyway, it, it makes a nice backdrop. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be back soon.